fuck I am, dude. Oh, let's... And we're back. Dude, it's been a two-week hiatus, I guess. Fuck no, dude. Oh, it's good to fucking see you. It's good to see you, too, man. I feel like this pod's going to be a fucking bumpy one, but... Oh, it's going to be an absolute fucking shit show. We're for sure feeling rusty. I don't know about you. Yeah, I just haven't been doing stand-up for like... Oh, I did... I mean, I did one open mic when I was gone, but it's been... uh, The place called The Comedy Zone. Dude, it's crazy because, like, there's nothing to fucking do around there, right? Yeah. So, like, the open mics... That open mic is, like, kind of like a show. There was, like, 70 people there no shit like it was a packed house in like central pa and like it was dude i mean it, they only gave me three minutes but it was just like it definitely had a decent set and like it was like it was just funny even even pa was not ready for me bro i don't know they were shook they were shook bro this i had i had the crowd gasping at one point and then I'm laughing at how offended these people were by me. And I'm like, I'm like, ha, hell yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm like, you should react like that. That's the proper response. Oh, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, dude, I was like really fucking with these people. Like, even the, the host of the night, he's like, he's like, that was real grimy, that set, man. And then he was like making fun of my pants, right? And he was like, he's like, we could all see your dick in your fucking joggers, man. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. Cause I'm a total faggot, and I yell him at this. And I was like, "Cause I want you to see my penis," and he was like, he, "The whole room died laughing." And he tried to follow it up with something, and just bombed so, so hard, hard that he was like, "Okay, guys, I guess I'm the idiot." You know, and I was just like, "I was." He, they just weren't ready for my energy, bro. Just like yeah. how Seattle's not like, no one's ready for me, bro. Yeah. I swear, like people get so thrown off by me, they're like, "What the fuck is this thing?" I mean, yeah, dude, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like they're like, what the fuck did I just? Did this man just call himself an? I gotta watch it. I don't want to get fucking. I, what? I, I don't, yeah, did he just call himself an f word? Yeah, an f word. You know, what I said I hope they don't fucking t- t- take down this fucking video again. I'd be so pissed if they do because I fucking couldn't hold my goddamn tongue. I mean, no, no, you can edit that out. No, I can click. I can just chop the first part of it off, and then we'll, just, we'll be talking into it and yeah. be like like we are now yeah it's fine yeah, yeah if they it. take it down fuck it i know fuck it it doesn't fuck matter it. yeah fuck it it doesn't matter run it but yeah dude it was so fucking funny watching like i just now i just know it's like even like anywhere i go i don't think anyone's prepared for me yeah like i think literally no matter what crowd or whatever i'm in it was just funny because like p- the people in pennsylvania thought it was so funny how disturbed i thought it like i was laughing at how disturbed people were which like made people really laugh in pennsylvania though they're like that's funny that like you know what you're doing up there you know what i mean because like they like bro like this one guy in pa he's like i'm gonna take he's like just he's like i've been doing comedy for you know four or five years now and he's like i'm deciding after the new year's resolution i'm gonna take it really serious he's like i'm gonna start hitting at least like three open mics a week and i was like three open mics a week is you taking this seriously dog I've done more comedy than you in your four years. Like I, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's almost fucking embarrassing. Actually, I, I just I dude, yeah, you are never you, three times a week, dude. I've been doing minimum five for a year, minimum five, and that like that's min, like that's like on the low end because there's been weeks where it's like I'm out. I know, I know, I know. We've had nights where we've hit fucking three, three mics. That's what I'm saying. No, no, like, no. Every yeah, Monday yeah. I hit three mics. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's I what I'm saying. I'm like literally doing like the amount of mics he does in a week that he's trying to do in a week in one day sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. And you can really see it too, man. I don't even want to be like that, but it's just like these be comp- people that have been saying they've been doing comedy for so long in PA or whatever. I'm like. They're just stuck in a rut. They're so uncomfortable on stage. Yeah. You can just see it. You can see it. You're like, man, I, I don't know. They say you got to be in the gym at least three days a week to see improvements. Hell, I'm in the gym six days a week, and I don't see it. So Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, especially after fucking going over there where everyone's just fucking addicted to fucking food. Bro, these motherfuckers eat, bro. Not nah, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. I really, wa- I really wanted to talk about the bro, amount of fucking family food. Eat- no, dude, you understand? It's funny because I'll judge. I was judging them, and I wasn't trying to be judging, but like, like they like push food on to me there like like a dope addict no shit like they're like like they're literally like it's already made for you i'm like i'm like dude it's 
8 a.m. I just woke up. I'm not hungry. I'm not eating for like eight more hours. Yeah. You know, like they're like, oh, OK, OK. OK. And then, then like they get they, like guilt. They're like, oh, you should eat. You should eat. You know, you look skinny. Like, like I know, I know. you look skinny. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's exactly the point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. yeah that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm I remember one. So one skinny. day I decided to try to keep up with them and eat. And dude, I was dropping horse piles. No shit. <laughs> like literally <laughs> logs, bro. Bro, no, that literally. And, that, you, and you just said fuck. I kind of came out. I try. I just tried it because I was just like, dude, you know what? Like I used to be able to push through shit like this. Yeah, you know, I used to eat like this. You yeah. know, let's see what it's like again. Yeah. And dude, I remember literally my grandma just handed me like seven different types of like carbohydrates, you know, in her fridge, and I was just like, don't you have any meat? Like, I know there's eggs in this potato salad, but. Yeah, like, and is there is there anything else? Anything else? Yeah, <laughs> like it's so many it's coleslaw, this that, and then, like it's all delicious. Like my grandma can cook some good shit, but like, dude, I watch them and like, I it's just so funny. Like, I know what was the grocery bill like at well, that dude, like, house? I mean, I, know, I understand. I know it is the holidays, so I know it's a little, you know, it's a little well, higher is, than it is, would like, normally dude, they're be. like straight up. This is like. They're straight up hoarders, bro. So it's like, this is like my, was like why I was like, I don't even know. I got like arguments with my grandma because I'm just like, she handed me food that was sus, bro. What do you mean? Dude, there, I found cookies in her cabinet that expired in 2014. No. Yeah. No. One of them are going to die from that. Dude, like they're, they like, they, dude, there's a whole cabinet full of jelly that she has that I'm for sure is all expired oh absolutely like there's no way that like no she's but they, they just hold on to shit like that because they're like they used to work in like like the rescue mission type shit so they're yeah. just like i don't know I, I, we use it yeah we'll use it we'll find someone that will yep you know even if it's expired but dude watching like keeping up with eating them i can just have, and this is this is I kind of like made it, I talked about it a bit, but like I, wa- I wrote it down as, as a topic, as like a bit I kind of wanted to try to work through. But it's like, dude, I can't imagine the horse piles that my grandparents drop on the daily. Dude, ew. it's got to be fucking wild. Bro, their assholes have to be blown out more than a gay man in Seattle. You think so? Dude. I, I guarantee they're a gay man in Seattle's butthole is cleaner than theirs, bro. I, okay, all right. Like, it's like, bro, they eat so much. I watched my grandma eat, like, she's like, I she's like I eat five small meals a day. So that's, like, basically five sandwiches or, like, five plates of food. Bro, five sandwiches is a lot of fucking food. Bro, she grubs. Like, and her, well, she tries to, the way that I make fucking sandwiches, dog. Like, and her, that shit's stacked to the bro, ceiling, dog. Like, I, I watched them eat so much goddamn food. I know, yeah. I don't the make no skinny man sandwich. Dude, yeah, my family's weird. They're they're strange, bro. Like, I, I feel like they just have no concept. Of calories? Of hell, or I don't know, man. <laughs> they're just like, they're eating like they're never going to get food again. You know? Like, it's like. Just every meal. Dude, it's uh, something's up. Like it's like I feel they. I don't know why they. It, I think they're at a point of fucking. It's addiction. You know, it's so addiction that it's like it's crazy. And like none of them do drugs or drink or anything. So they're just crutching on, on food. food so hard, huh? So hard, just like oh. Know, is it is it like a ton of like canned food and stuff like that or like? No, like my, my nana cooks. Like she she's a good cook and stuff, but it's okay. just like the problem it gets sus because it's like you don't know how fresh the food is or if there's like there's a few times I'm like, Is this meat good? I don't I don't, I don't know how long has this actually been sitting in the fucking fridge? Yeah. Yeah. She handed me some dip that's like expired two months ago. I was like, All right, I just gotta check everything, you know? Yep. And yeah, I don't know, man. There is they I love my fucking data pop up. I really do. They're just they're some Interesting folk, for yeah. sure, man. Definitely see why I am the way I am when I'm around them. And I, like, oh, this all makes sense. This is this is anarchy. And I, it's a good thing that you're in fucking Seattle and not in PA. No, yeah, it's literally like, dude. The day before I left, my fucking like you you could just it was just like my time 
that I was spending there was coming to an end. Yeah. And like, it's funny. Even my grandma, like she saw how everything happened. She's just like, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, like my, like, I don't even know how to explain the situation, but like p- people in my family are extremely, extremely mentally ill. Like, on another level, like on some like on the side of the street screaming with their pants down type of Seattle almost type shit. Like no way. Like like I was just we were just at a pizzeria ordering some food and like we're trying to just get the order together. And I mean this my aunt, I have no idea why I just start screaming at me because like I'm just trying to ask her, I'm like, do we want to split the order? What do we want to do here with yeah. this whatever? And she just starts freaking out, like just manically freaking out. I'm like we're good. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all calm it, down. Yeah, no, no. it's fine. This is pizza. Like, let's. No, no, no. Yeah, we're sitting down to have fucking. Yeah, let's pizza, just just like, all you know, calm. I, I was like, relax. it was crazy that I was like, hey, I don't know what's going on. I'm not mad at you. I don't know why you're. I don't know, you're. And she was mad at her mom, my aunt, because like her and my, it, there's like so much, it, dude. It, it didn't make sense. The family tree line. I need. I need fucking pictures to actually see all this, so I can put fucking. Faces yeah, so it's, it's, it's like stories. Like, it's like, my, but yeah, it's dude. I don't know how to even explain it other than it's just like imagine just getting yelled at for literally absolutely no reason, and you're being like, "Whoa, what did I do?" You know, every day of my goddamn in life. a pizzeria. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? You're like, dude, we're all good here, right? We're all we're all okay, right? Can we just take a deep breath? I don't know. I don't know how I, I'm the person that is uh running this ship right now uh because that's terrifying if i'm the one in charge i know this sounds like every restaurant that i've yeah. ended up in that checks out yeah geez. checks out no, no, no. yeah where you're just like literally sitting there like how the fuck is this place open and closed day in and day out like there is it's just complete anarchy all yeah, the way chaos, across dude, the fucking board nonsense dude yeah just nothing fucking no flow yeah no flow yeah and uh, it, it seems so fucking simple just to have a little bit of fucking flow. Like, it's really not that difficult. And, like, you know, just yeah, the simple lack of communication is just baffling. Dude, no, I, uh, I mean, my family, man, I I, I think, that, like I said, it's just the central PA vibe is just so rough. Because, like, you just drive around PA and, like, you know, like, I don't, I, I know this sounds crazy. It's like when you drive to, like, a city, let's say Seattle, it's like you get a sense or just like you just there's just even even tell even driving into anywhere like Tacoma or something there's just like a sense of economy yeah a sense of stuff it's like you drive around PA and you're like how do people live around here they don't you know what I mean I'm like <laughs> I don't know they don't I know they're literally just fucking wasting air no dude they really fucking are man it's crazy it's like I don't know what the fuck's going on but there ain't nothing to fucking do around there bro I can't ain't yeah. a damn thing like not a damn thing there's an open mic once a week and people show up to it because there's like nothing else to, to, to do. do like people were watching that open mic like it was a comedy show i'm like this is just an open mic bro no you know fuck, I mean? no fucking way no dude there's literally a crowd a crowd crowds of people there like dude no draw and see no like i don't know any open mic other than maybe like flight path that will bring a crowd like that Really? Yeah, it was a big crowd, bro. Holy fuck! Like it was a, like a big room, big crowd. Every like, I'll definitely if I ever go back to PA, I'm definitely hitting that up again. You know what I mean? Because it was like it was like it was worth to drive out and get three minutes in front of seventy people. I know how far from uh how from your far from, from my your grandparents. Spot, my it? grandparents. I was saying it was like I think it was like thirty minutes. It wasn't okay. too bad. It was in Harrisburg. Oh, okay. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. Harrisburg Comedy Zone. It's where Shane Gillis uh, started doing comedy. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Surprisingly, that's where he got his start. Damn, I know. That's actually that's actually pretty fucking cool. That's good. The spot's cool, man. Like, uh, like, uh, I mean, dude, like, it, I'm sure the people that are regulars at that club, man, it, it probably get some good stage time because it's just like there's nothing to fucking do in that town. Yeah. And there's a fucking, you know. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know, what dude. else? I know, what else did you fucking do while you're out there besides oh, yeah, just okay. fucking eat? Okay, so this is this is the one story that I wanted to get into about right, that, yeah. that which is this is what I found like I fucking laughed out loud. This, this is gonna be a roller coaster of just sad parts to it, but 
So basically when I was there, my fucking uh, grandfather had to get a colonoscopy, all right, or whatever. They shoved the shit up your ass. And uh, he had to do like a, a liquid fast for like a day or so. Never seen a man more defeated in my life. He's like, I can't eat Keebler Elf cookies today. <laughs> He's like, God. God, kill me. Kill me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And Dude, Strike me where I stand. Strike I'm me done. down, Lord. <laughs> yeah. But no, like he gets fucking put under for the colonoscopy and he fucking strokes out during the colonoscopy. Fuck which was nay. Pretty brutal. Fuck nay. I spent the holidays fucking in the uh, hospital making sure my grandpa was okay. But he ended up bouncing back pretty good. They let him home after. You know, after a few days, or I was like, I think it was only like 30 hours I let him, but he, dude, he took that stroke like a champ, dude. I don't understand. I don't know. I know. Hey, it's PA. I know. I know. Yeah, just keep it moving. Yeah. Keep it pushing. He'll be but all right. He said something uh, like the morning he came home after the stroke, like this man's face was limp the, ne- the day before. And like, it's just funny to think of like, th- like you could have died that day. And then like the, the next day is the thoughts going through your mind, you know? Yeah. And like you would think they'd just be like more peaceful, or I don't know what the fuck you know <laughs> what the fuck would be going through my mind before if I almost just stroke out and died. But what he said, man, and it was like eight a.m. in the morning. He just came home and he's just sitting on the couch watching TV, and he's just like, "Oh, you hear that the Catholic Church started accepting homosexuals into Catholicism." What? <laughs> he's like he's like that's the sign of the end times right there and, I was like, I, and then immediately went into having a stroke the next day no 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 he that's after that's <laughs> that's him coming, after him coming out of the stroke that's his thoughts that's his thought process coming holy out of the stroke shit is, we're in the end times because catholicism now it, accepts it was- gay people and I was like, I laughed. What, wi- what a wild concept to bring said out, that, dude! I laughed <laughs> so, so hard, <laughs> uncontrollably, <laughs> in front of him. He said that to my entire family. He said that to my. You know what I said? You know, I replied to him. I was like, "Damn right, because it's a <laughs> sin to be gay," <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> I was like, queers should burn in hell. And everyone in my family, my oh my, my aunt, because like a couple of the cousins are gay and whatever, yeah, they yeah. looked so disappointed Just and petrified. so sad. But like that I was like rolling with my grandpa's like Oh my god. Gay hate. I was like, Yeah, grandpa, let's go with this. Like I was like, that is the funniest shit. Oh my god, dude. That's the funniest thing ever, bro. Like you like it's the sign of the end times because Catholicism accepts gay people now. That's the the rapture's coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it has He's to be like, coming. The rapture's coming soon. <laughs> He's like, they're ex- yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Hey, 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 get your nooses. What We're used, calling it an end. <laughs> what used to be a sin ain't a sin no more. It's how they get you, boy. <laughs> Damn, dude! I don't know what a wild dude. fucking. Dude, imagine concept. just stroking out and like, <laughs> the next day, and you're like, and they, know, they know, the, and they're letting the gays in church. We're done. Yeah, we're done. We're it's done like, here. End times. Yeah, I know. We're done here. Yeah, I don't know end, what to tell you guys about it. End times, brother. Oh my the end god! End is nigh. Holy fuck! I, I just, I, dude, it's so funny too. He got a kick out of how funny I thought that was. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, I'm glad you thought that was funny. He's like, he's like, and he, and he was being dead ass serious, and you're just sitting here laughing at him, like, like dude, he's gone. I know, I we're, like, I know we're done. I was like, here. Keep, keep riffing. Yeah. Say something, <laughs> keep say riffing. Better. I, know, keep, I know, keep riffing. I need the bits for Can when I go home. you say something like that? Again, that was incredible. I know, I know, I know. My brother in Christ, can I get you Literally, a microphone, says, please? Like, like, bro. <laughs> I was like, just to know real quick, Grandpa is not okay with queers. <laughs> like, Dude. He still thinks it's a sin, even though our cousin's one of them. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, and they're sitting at the table with them. No, like, my cousin's, mo- the, the one that's, 
her mother is at the table. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. And you know, you know, just petrified, just mortified and I, and by I that entire. I literally entire... pulled up where I'm like, yeah, because queers deserve to burn in hell. And she's just, she and looks you know, at me so sad. And you know, as she's you're like, wearing women's pants yeah, at the yeah, table. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Women's jo- purple women's joggers. And, you know, and a choker, I'm assuming. No, no, I, dude, I dress down for the family. <laughs> I dress down for the family. <laughs> I try to get the pants that aren't as tight. I wear the baggier clothes. I don't put the chokers on. I take the earrings out. Oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, so you're just walking around with these fucking anuses on your ear? Yeah, just blown out butthole. <laughs> and, uh, how many times did your grandfather try and make fun of your fucking blown out butthole Dude, ears? I think he's too blind to see them. <laughs> okay. And, uh, he knows and, uh, I stretch, otherwise, he would he have. He knows I stretched my ears. I remember my gra- my one grandfather, uh, the one that's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I remember when he saw my, my gauges. He's like... He's like, you know, desecrating your body, boy, is a sin. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, yeah, all, right, all, right. all right, Grandpa. All right, and uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's right great. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's great. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. Actually, tomorrow, I'm gonna make the hole bigger. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah. bro. But no, dude. Yeah, just stretching it out for the Lord. Don't, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, but yeah, that's kind of a lot of the stuff that I was, you know, experiencing there in uh, the old Pencil Tucky, dude. <laughs> Pencil Tucky, and uh, that's a first. And uh, I've heard of Montucky, and uh, yeah, whatever people are like referring to fucking partying in like Montana and shit like that, they're like, oh yeah, over in fucking Montucky. But yeah, yeah, Pencil Tucky, baby. <sighs> Pencil Tucky. Yeah. And uh, you're right. You guys are right over by fucking uh, Three Mile Island, right? To my mom lives right next to the power plant. That no shit. My mom is literally like less than a, probably a mile away from it. Like that's like Three Mile Island is her backyard. That's fucking wild. It's fucked up. I'm like, I can't believe you live here. Like, I almost like it. Like worries me because like I know, I know, I, the rent. I know the rent's got to be cheap. It's yeah, probably is not too bad. It's probably not too bad. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad, but uh, I just like I'm like, dude, the quality. I even my mom, like, she's like, oh, I don't this this that. I'm like, you live next to a, a th- <laughs> you know what happened here, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like people don't normally just live next to shit like this, and it's cool. Yeah. Like and, uh, and, uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, just act like it's nothing. Like you know, uh, just don't go swim in the creek. Like it's okay. Definitely don't go swim in the creek. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you call it crick. It's crick. <laughs> crick. <laughs> don't, go, don't, don't, don't go down swimming the crick. Don't go down swimming the crick down down there, boy. You come up out down on the crick and we'll go down, we'll go pop out down by the restaurant. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the southern accent when it's in like the fucking like mid and uh, like the Midwest is so good. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. it's so good. That southern accent is fucking hilarious bro fucking dude it is so fucking like literally listening to like these open micers like do stand up in their pennsylvania accents i'm like oh fuck. man oh fuck me dude <laughs> he's like that hey look at that ball right there i'm like oh my god dude i gotta go home i gotta go home i gotta go home <laughs> Dude, it was so like they're like trying to do bits and they're like i'm like you're just literally a t- typical person from pennsylvania it's insane yeah like there's nothing unique about you at all nope i don't know like at all dude like, not a fucking ounce like, it's funny because like i'll get like shane gillis right that comes from yeah. there he's like he don't sound like them like no. i'm sure he out well, a few words you'll come out and then whatever i but... mean I don't know. he can pull it out i've seen him do bits where like you know he actually like throws that accent in yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, which I know, which are fucking hilarious because like his entire facial expression changes at the exact same time as well, which is Bro, great. It's just fucking <laughs> like, pencil, pencil tucky, dude. Pencil tucky. <laughs> <laughs> there was this town in because uh, I was fucking. There's like weird names like on this route or whatever. Like that I was taking because I was going to the gym. They're like literally the names of the towns. One of them is Blue Balls. The other one is literally it's Yo it, Come Town. Yo Come Town. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. There's a town you said called Blue Balls. Yeah, Blue Balls. 
damn. Dude. Right next to Yo Come Town. How do I get a Dare t shirt from Blue Balls? Thank <laughs> 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 you. Yeah, I know, I know. That is going to be my next eBay dude, fucking it's, search, it's, dude. I want like one of those we- so like, bad. It's weird. Like, the, there's like, I forget the other name. There's like a strip of them, and they all have like really weird names. Like, we're like, or like, is this sexual or what the fuck is this? I know, I know, I know. Whose toddler named this? Yeah, what the? Yo Come Town? Uh, Yo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who decided it was a good idea to give the teenager the fucking job dude. of naming the fucking town. But dude, I'll tell you what, man. Fucking like Pennsylvania, dude. Like there is this, the quality of life is so not good there. To me, at least in my opinion, it's like the the be able to get like there's no clean drink, drinking water within a hundred miles. I swear. Oh, so unless you buy feet, of- unless you buy Fiji. Oh, that's gross. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you want clean water? You got to like, because like Fiji water is good, but it's just so ridiculously overpriced. And that's like, this is it. This is all I get. No, no. Other than that, it's just fucking Dasani and Arrowhead. I can't, I can't find like, like anything else, dude. It's crazy. They don't, there's no Whole Foods. There's no nothing. And it's like, I, I literally. I know. God, what do you guys have for grocery stores out there then? They're called Weiss's and Giant. Weiss's and Giant? Yeah. Huh. That's the. That's the two big grocery stores. Those sound miserable. I don't know. I, don't know. If anyone I will say me, Giant has a good section of it. Like, there's a good part of Giant. Like, there's, like, a nature's, like, right. kind of, like, thing. It's kind of like what they got at, like, a Fred Meyer. Okay, all right. They got a little thing going on, but that's it. But, like, even there, they don't even have that, like, dude, it, it's it's so slim pickings on good stuff. And there's, like, no, like, there's no PCC type shit, you know? There ain't nothing like that. Ain't no fucking. I know we're kind of spoiled over here on the west coast. Oh, dude, we're so spoiled with the food and stuff. It's crazy. And and it sucks though because like I would love to just eat the fucking like dirt bag like white trash garbage shit that New York pushes out all the time because that shit looks fucking delicious. But like I know I'm supposed to be eating like what's on the west coast. Well, I know there's good food out there, right? But it's just like where I'm at in Central PA. It's just like. You have to go to Lancaster to get anything like that because that's where all the li- no shit. That's where all the libs live. That's, that's where like, the libs live. <laughs> that's where all the libs live. I don't, for I don't, sure. I don't know, and that's like known in town. I know, probably spray painted on the sign. Uh, like, you know, yeah, welcome to Lib Town. It's definitely the more liberal part of Pennsylvania, or at least that part of Central PA. Lancaster seems way more liberal. Uh, yeah, for sure. They got a Whole Foods in Lancaster, dude. That's how you know there's some fucking libtards out there. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's, that's like that's like it's a drive away to go to that thing. I see. I don't know what's really really fucking funny is like now, like you know, being from fucking Seattle, like and you know, being in the city all of the goddamn time. Now, when I see fucking Whole Foods, I literally just think of fucking junkies. Like, no, for I, sure. I literally, I literally just think of junkies in there fucking boosting ice cream. And shit, dog. Because like, you know, like, you know, fucking, uh, yeah. I mean, my mom works for the corporate office, uh, you know, for Kroger. And so she was fucking telling me that, like, you know, at, like certain like QFCs and like shit like that. Closer, uh, yeah, yeah, like certain like QFCs and shit like that. They've had to fucking lock up the ice cream and put it behind the, the counter. ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream has had to come behind the counter. And get locked up. Like, you have to personally ask for a fucking pint of ice cream at the cashier. That's crazy. To actually get the fucking ice cream because it was all just getting fucking stolen. Like, I mean, I know, I get it. I know, everybody steals candy. If you don't steal candy, you're fucked. Yeah, you're you're kind of retarded. You might not be a real person. Yeah, I mean, you're, I'm pretty sure dude, that you're, you're they're fake. just locking up ice cream. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and no, 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 no. It was this whole fucking ordeal for, like, 50 fucking stores that they had to actually install freezers, like, over by the check stands. That's crazy. Like, yeah, bro. they had to, like, rewire fucking power and, like, have electricians come out and shit like that. Like, yeah, like, $100,000 jobs <laughs> for ice cream. Man. Like, how much ice cream are you guys really selling in a day? Like, and how much ice cream is actually being fucking stolen that you guys are like, yo, yeah, we need to drop 100K at each one of these fucking crazy, locations dude. to put freezers behind the cashier stand. Like that's it's funny that like wild, I remember I was watching brother. just this this channel five like you know that yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever and like he that came out like two weeks ago 
like it was the the thing in San Francisco, and they were saying one of the number one boosted items was ice cream. Yeah. On the on the the thing, which is funny, motherfuckers just. I'm telling you, man, I think that's what's gonna get me. Ice cream. I think you think all these drugs and all this shit that I talk about, dude. It's the ice cream. I swear to God, dude, if I can't put that ice cream down, that's it's, that's. I think that's what's gonna get me, dude. And uh, that's what got bit like. It, it, and her, in the end, it's sugar, and that's what literally is getting both of my grandfathers right now. I mean, one died from sugar, and the I, other one's pretty much gonna die from sugar. I mean, let's be realistic here. If it is not fucking ice cream or like candy that gets you, it's gonna be gluten. Yeah, probably. And our, glu- and our gluten is the number. Yeah. It's gonna rip my asshole apart. Yeah, dude. And her, uh, I, I swear to God, and our gluten is like fentanyl for white people <laughs> like, and like that shit is so goddamn fucking uh, wild dog it's like you know dude. the amount of damage that it has done to the white community is unfucking believable dude it's so fucking funny that like like we're talking you talk that so like everyone in my family now like on my dad's side has got like celiac disease and like all this stuff yeah and like Dude, my pop off like it is so hard for him to like comprehend that like no one in the family eats bread anymore. <laughs> you just you don't even know how to act. He just is just like oh, he's like it's like it's like he it's like you're gay basically if you can't if you don't eat bread you know he's like he's like oh okay mm-hmm. like he'll like offer me stuff I'm like pop up I I've told you like I can't eat I don't eat gluten like that I don't yeah. want keeper keeper elf cookies he's like oh okay. okay. Uh, and, <laughs> so like, and i guarantee you, bro because like they were saying like all, all this like they look for these things in the colonoscopy to take out right yeah. and apparently a lot of the things that they take out is caused by gluten yeah and, oh. and, he, and he had a ton of them oh yeah he's just being bred all the time it's yeah. so funny that like it's like i feel like people most people have a gluten uh, almost everyone has a gluten intolerance but i think some most people are so like uh checked out from their daily life that they just think that's how like I don't know, that's just how fucking normal pooping is supposed yeah, to be done. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be fucking yeah, uncomfortable the, and painful yeah, and they shit just like that. It, yeah. You're supposed to sweat like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people are just like, oh, I just, that's just how it goes sometimes. Like, I remember my mom told me, she was just like, I just get hemorrhoids sometimes because my mom eats bread a lot. And yeah. I'm like, I don't really get hemorrhoids unless I eat gluten. Like, yeah. literally, that's like the only thing that like, gives me hemorrhoids. Yeah, no, my mom got told not eat fucking gluten i know my mom is like you know is very like well fucking educated and then i was like i like went over today to have a fucking uh lunch with them and they were making like fried rice and i was, I was like oh would you marinate the chicken with they're like oh soy sauce i was like yeah dude can't eat that and they're like why and I, was like, I was like oh it has flour in it and yeah like, most soy sauce, unless you specifically yeah well no <laughs> I know so i went and picked up amino acids and then uh tamarind uh tamarind sauce yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just as like a substitute and stuff like that, and they're like, you're like, well, like we only put a little bit, and I was, I was like, a little bit's all I need yeah, to like, and you know, I know, to push out a fucking marble size fucking hemorrhoid out my butt no, right cra- now, yeah, and like not be able to walk right for the next like, no, week. dude, it's so funny. Like my uncle's buddy, right, was like, he's like, he, because I was like, we were ordering food from somewhere when I was with them, and I was like, I, they have gluten free rolls there. I like order me one with the the sandwich that I get. He's like, you really, he's like, you're really gluten. In-. Like he was like almost like offended. And I was yeah. just like, and I was just like, dude, if you understood how I felt when I poop. No, I just like, I can literally look at his body shape and I'm like, dude, you're gluten intolerant. I, I'm pretty sure you're gluten intolerant. Yeah. You get hemorrhoids regularly, Greg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I mean, God, I don't know. just the amount of fucking water weight that I have cut. Cause like. I know, yeah. I got told that like I wasn't supposed to eat gluten. Said fuck that because I was just like self sabotaging. I was like, all right, yeah. Well, ju- and I should probably get, I should just... probably get my fucking health back together. Literally, this happened about a month ago. I like I got off the gluten again, and I my waist has literally shrunk four sizes. Oh, dude, no, dude. I, it's, in in a it's crazy. month, in a month, and no, the first that's two, crazy. In the yeah, first no, two makes, weeks, I went down three sizes. That's crazy. And my stretch marks on my side are like almost, and they're almost fucking gone. Yeah, it's like terrifying, honestly. What you're saying, it's <laughs> fucking miserable. And I was like, no, yeah, because bread, the bread's great. I love bread, and it's just like bread literally is like worse for me than most narcotics. Yeah, I don't know. Like I could literally like binge out on hard drugs and like have less 
ramifications than when I would what if I eat bread. And that's like it's a weird reality. I know, I was I was telling my mom I was, I was like, yeah, I might as well get back on drugs. I was like, yo, if I if I get back on drugs and I'm off of gluten, I'll probably live to be ninety. You'll be healthier. Like sure, I'll probably live to be fucking ninety. It's fucked up how gluten fucking. I, like I said, I feel like a lot of people are just kind of in denial about what it does to their body. I might, it may, maybe, maybe I'm just spewing shit out my ass, but like it's just like. I don't think a lot of people actually understand or even like realize like the damage that's like being done, or like yeah, or that it can actually be a different way. I don't no, think yeah, that yeah, no, even yeah, like they're, they're, they're processes. Process. No, they're like, oh, that just happens sometimes. I'm like, not nah, really. If you're taking care of yourself, yeah. eating the right things, that should not happen you should not have that much inflammation in your body like you shouldn't have bubbles on your butthole like obviously something your body does not like what you're putting in it if that happens Mm -mm. it shouldn't just happen regularly no for no reason (laughs) there is a reason for it you know for that much inflammation in your body there's all there's like something you did do it like i don't know it was actually really really interesting too the other day i like went over it helped my sister make this like mac and cheese recipe that like she found on tiktok because my sister could not cook like i love the woman to death she had a she has really good heart cannot cook, <laughs> cannot, cook. cannot cook at all ain't no, and so, ain't no women can cook not like, any of the new age girls bro i swear they don't be cooking bro i mean i don't know even my mom can't cook like Bro. I know, my mom could burn a glass of water. I know I love that woman. I know she could bake. I know my mom could bake like a motherfucker. All right, she can do that. Fuck, but she know. cannot cook anything. I know it's like I know. I know she can bake. Yeah, that's great. I can't eat fucking gluten. You're not supposed to eat fucking gluten either. She was diagnosed with fucking a gluten allergy before I fucking was. Yeah. And she's over here like baking cookies and shit like that like every couple of days. Like, like, I don't understand why the weight's not shedding off. Like, bro, stop eating bread for fucking yeah, one literally, day. You could literally just stop eating bread and like, yeah. Like, I, know, no, I, know, I know, like, yeah, I finally got her onto fucking fasting and shit like that. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, what are you breaking your fast with? She's like, she's like, oh, I'm doing two pieces of toast with peanut butter in the morning. Like, dog. Stop eating the eat fucking well bread. Just, no, just do a fucking spoonful of peanut butter in the morning, dog. Like, might yo, as well just eat a fucking Snickers bar at that point, dude. Like, no, no, no. You're like, I was trying to explain it to her. I'm like, yo, literally, just do the spoonful of peanut butter. She's like, well, it's only eighty calorie bread. I was, I was like, it's not the calories that it's are the, fuck, her, that the, are the fucking problem here. That's what's making it's the fucking no, bread. bread yeah. I know. And then I had to explain to her. She's like, she's like, well, I don't even understand gluten really. She's like, she's like, is there gluten in potatoes? I was like, no, potatoes are gluten free. She's like, how about rice? I was like, rice is gluten free. Yeah. I, was, I was like, mom, you're very well fucking educated. Like, you went way farther in school yeah, than like, I did. On, and I was like, and I can understand this concept. This is really wheat simple. Is really what you need to worry about. And you know, any form of wheat product besides buckwheat, you cannot eat. That yeah. is what we yeah. are telling you right here. It's no, dude, super dude, simple dude, across the board. When, when, when it says allergens at the bottom of the fucking, you know, yeah, the nutritional facts, it will say what is in there. If there's milk, soy, wheat, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, if yeah. you see wheat, don't, don't eat, eat it. it. Yeah, no, Really dude. simple. I swear, man, people like it's like when you fuck with people's food, man, it really fucks with their head. I mean, I know it's really been fucking with my head, dude. Like, I know I've like really been struggling to like actually like feel satisfied with a meal like i don't yeah. think i've actually like eaten something i don't know man like, like at least for me it's like dude if i eat a nice hefty portion of a good meat i'm satisfied yeah, see, i haven't i literally haven't even been getting the dough from me in response to it and, at all i don't which know about is like, that. maybe maybe not the dough from me in response like i get what you're talking about when you're eating like some carbs and bread like that and like pizza there's nothing like it and no, 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 I, I literally i just want to fuck i want like, Ita- i want an italian sandwich fucking olive oil and red wine vinegar and oregano and salt and pepper I, fucking lettuce onion tomato fucking italian cold yeah, cuts i want yeah, fucking yeah, three yeah, types yeah, yeah, yeah. of fucking cheese no, i want to slab a fucking mayo just, on a fucking baguette like dog i'm in i'm about to have a mental breakdown no, over I this fucking it, sandwich it, dude i've literally been having dreams about this fucking sandwich no, bro, for I, like three weeks straight no, dog. Dude, i went and had that sandwich you're talking about in pa yeah i know and i'm fucking so jealous dog. it was glorious <laughs> yeah, but it dude. was rough the 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 the, the initial that, initial obviously eating and everything was great but then 
I know the af- I know the aftermath. I know you're not even getting the satisfaction oh, dude, two, three, because like as soon as you're eating it, you're like, you're like, I know I'm not supposed to eat this. This is gonna suck later, and it just totally fucking oh, takes dude, no, away was... all of that enjoyment. Like, dog, I just want to go back like eight to ten years ago yeah, 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 before yeah. I like realized that like, was I wasn't on, yeah, supposed yeah. to be eating fucking bread. And I could just fucking bang that shit out, dog. Yeah, you just power through those shits. Yeah, because I know gluten free bread sucks. I know the no, gluten free fucking wraps, dog shit. Shit, yeah. Like I don't know. I mean, I know they're good enough. I know they're. Edible. There is no they're good edible. gluten free bread, really, though. It's like not. There's no gluten free bread that compares. I, I know. I have bread. There's one. Like like like, like there's noodles, right? I feel like gluten free noodles that compare. Kind of, I know they don't have the same mouth feel to it, dude. Like I know For they, sure. they really, I get, what you're, I get what you're saying. They really don't. Maybe I'm just so used to eating them. Yeah, I know, <laughs> like, no, 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 trust me. I've just like begun to like, cause like I'm just like, oh, this is what it tastes like to eat this. No, or, trust I me, I know. I literally so having to work in kitchens all the time. It's like I mean, yeah, I'm constantly making pasta, so it's like I know I have to do like little like tasting where you literally just bite into the noodle just to see how done yeah. it is, and then I like immediately spit, spit it out. out. Yep. And it's like, no, the mouthfeel of a regular fucking yeah, gluten yeah, yeah, noodle yeah. dog. I am telling you no, what, gluten is a heroin, gluten dude. free noodle could never, no, could yeah. no, fucking no, 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 never, no, no, dog. Right, you're right. <laughs> like, no, you're, no, no, you're so right. No, I'm like. Yeah. No, you're so right. I'm I'm dude, I'm, 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 right I'm I'm just lying to myself because I wanted to <laughs> yeah, eat dude. bread. No, dude, I I, I, <laughs> I I miss bread more than I miss anything. Like it, out of all the drugs that I used to do or this or that or whatever, I that I miss bread more than anything. And literally more than anything. Like more than any, like dude, I no, 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 I want a sourdough. <laughs> I want a fucking French baguette with fucking <laughs> butter. Dude, oh dude, I remember, dude, my god! I, remember I used to just go buy French baguettes dude. at like Safeway yeah. and just eat a whole thing of bread, dude. I no know. meat, no <laughs> cheese, right. just bread, bro. And I would just nibble on bread like it was fucking like. All right, so yeah, this happened like probably like four years ago. So like, I'm still like. I'm still like strung out. Like I'm not doing okay <laughs> at all. Like you know, I'm abusing anything yeah, that I can yeah, get yeah. my hands on. And my mom calls me up, and like I think like she's getting ready to yell at me. She's like, "You're not gonna fucking believe what I found in your sister's room today." And I was like, "I was like, I was like, fuck." I was like, "Did I leave a bag in my sister's room or something yeah, like that?" Yeah, yeah. Like what happened like is she getting into things she goes i lifted up her bed sheets there was a full stick of butter and a full baguette underneath her bed and i'm like i straight up and i was was like mom i gotta call you back and i called my sister up i was like i was like you got a french baguette and a stick of butter in your bed and she goes i didn't want mom to find it like i didn't know where else to hide it dude (laughs) like i don't know she was hiding she was hiding a baguette that's how like it was a zip like that it was heroin, wild. Bro. No, that should be like that. Bro. It was Bread's so addictive, bro. Dude, it was the most wild thing I have ever heard in I'm my goddamn you that, life. That enriched wheat, man. That shit, real deal, dog. Oh my god. I crave bread like every day. Like, dude, I quit smoking cigarettes. Right? You know what I mean? Type shit. Talking like, about, I quit smoking cigarettes two weeks ago. Nice, good shit, bro. Yeah, good I don't know. It's fucking sucked for the first like fucking yeah, three no, for, days. Yeah, no, for sure. But like, dude, I, don't like, know. I, I remember like quitting cigarettes was hard i thought honestly i felt like quitting cigarettes was like the hardest thing for me yeah. to do but then i look at it now i'm like nah bread no because i still like i'll still fucking i ate bread the other like i ate bread a few days and dude i remember i ate that sub dude it was so glorious and then like two three hours later i'm just squ- squirting water out my butthole i don't know i don't know you know just in so much pain you're fucking no, you, know, dude, you, know, you can literally feel yourself like bloating <laughs> yeah, as you're dude, eating the fucking yeah, it's sandwich so crazy, dude, dude. Like, it's so fucked up oh my you know, it's god it's all funny you know who like because like I, when i first started doing comedy and shit like uh i'd be doing all the bread jokes so i was like really what i started like i feel like that was like my bread and butter when i first started out yeah. uh, <laughs> <da-da-da>. <laughs> but no fucking femi bro femi's got the bad gluten intolerance now and he's like bro he's like those bits hit so much harder for me now yeah i'm like, I'm like damn i don't know because like, oh, no, he was working at that fucking italian yeah, restaurant yeah, yeah. yeah eating fucking pasta every day so like he didn't realize it, everything no, it, and, and as soon as he stopped doing it for a couple of days he's trying to go back it's like it's like 
Nah, dog. Yeah, no, it's not fucked up, absolutely dude. fucking not. No, it's crazy, man. Fucking fuck gluten, but yeah. I love it. It's so good. So good. <laughs> dude, I know. I'm I'm uh, I know. <laughs> I have like literally chills thinking about eating bread. <laughs> dude, I know. Like a fucking ha- this is what I think heroin addicts like if I've done heroin, I don't feel that way about it. Dog, I know I could easily go jerk off to that description of a fucking sandwich that I told you. I have literally been having fucking dreams about it, dog. Oh man, no, that's rough. like on the regular, like it's it's probably like every third day or so yeah, I will rough. have a dream about fucking making an actual fucking sandwich and as soon as i go to take a bite i fucking wake up it's like dog i want to scream and punch fucking holes in the wall like oh my god i'm like yeah it's dude wheat is crazy good man the amount of fucking drugs that i have like no you like i said no i feel it man it's crazy in a fucking baguette no, is I, like that's literally the, that's the thing. is like literally like the only fucking like that's the vice thing, that no, I, I have. It, like man. I really do. I get really it. fucking good. No, 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 no. I know. You know. I don't understand how people that are like shooting drugs like can't kick them, and then it's like I cannot fucking figure out how I'm not going to eat bread for the next day. Like, I'm, like, trying to develop no, yeah, a fucking I mean, dude, plan of, like, what I'm going to eat the next day I mean, to, I, like, fully avoid restaurants <laughs> that are yeah, going to yeah, have yeah. the fucking bread and uh, fucking sandwiches so, like, I don't fucking smell it because as soon as I smell it, that's all I'm going to think about. Oh, man. I remember I walked past a donut place the other day. Oh, oh my, my God. God, dog. Holy fuck. Shit was Oh man, the smell of that was so good. No, I know. So the last fucking, I know. So uh, last Sunday, and then uh, yesterday, uh, we've been ordering uh, from uh, Macarena, and they've been ordering up pastries for us for the holidays. And so, like, I like walk in, and there's like twenty fucking freshly baked cinnamon rolls with cream cheese icing sitting uh. in a box then there's this fucking huge lo- I know, this huge loaf of bread that's just fully iced Bruh. going over the top there's pull apart fucking rolls like all sorts of just fucking pastries yeah, 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 that they yeah, ordered yeah. literally just for us like it's just for the fucking staff oh my god okay yeah, yeah, and i know for like, nothing else you're like this is, like, this is like, for me i know i know i'm walking in like fucking 16 hours deep on a fucking fast and like that's the first thing that i lay my eyes on to and i'm like dude i'm i like i'm gonna go kill myself yeah, like, I, know, yeah I can't yeah, jesus I know, yo, Christ, you guys are gonna do dude. this I know, yo, and then fucking yesterday uh God, I know, yo, yeah they were trying to like do something fucking sweet for us so then they order up fucking dough zone fucking dumplings that's what they ordered up oh. for us and I was, I was like i was like yo you guys are gonna sit around and eat fucking pastries and cinnamon rolls and now you guys are going to sit around and eat fucking dumplings in front of me all day i was, I was, I was, I was like that's that's what we're fucking yeah, doing you guys here, are dog. fucking animals yeah and god I, damn I know, I know, I know. i've been here that's for rough. Fuck, I know, i've been here for fucking 36 hours god damn in man, the last like, three on, days bro. and you guys are gonna start me off like this at fucking 8 30 i was at winco right the other day right <laughs> and they have the big trays of the, the cinnamon oh rolls. my god bro, it was like five dollars of cinnamon rolls i'm like dude dog and I'm what paying, i would kill to be able to handle that would be like, dog and oh, i'm man. paying eight dollars for four gluten-free bagels no i know and I it, and it, I honestly i was just like it's fucked up how cheap they're selling that it's dude i don't know i think you know i think that's literally part of the fucking problem everyone's just like you know what i will just shit a little bit of fucking blood for the price for the price no for and sure. like the price is right the price is right dude like, five dollars for that whole tray of fucking cinnamon rolls was a deal yeah like anyway you know, that's a lot of food let me see how much time we've done i feel like i feel like we've been fucking crushing it all right. I know, wow. I know, okay. That, yeah, that went a lot fucking smoother than I thought. That it went was way going smoother to. than I thought it did. All right. Well. God, dude, I'm so fucking stuck on that sandwich no, right yeah, now, dog. I'm like, honestly, I think we could just fucking. That was about 50 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that. You call it. Yeah, I gotta pee really bad. And all right, fuck it. I know. Yeah. Let's just call it. I was smooth. I think we we ran through that. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Fucking gang, get it. Thank you if you watched. Love yeah. you. Hey, um, missed y'all. Yeah, missed you. Thanks for watching. Yeah.